today's lesson is on multiplication. This lesson will include multiplication patterns, decimal patterns, multiplication of whole numbers by a whole number, multiplication of a whole number by a decimal, and multiplication of a decimal by a decimal. The first thing we're going to look at are multiplication patterns. These are when we're multiplying powers of 10. You multiply the 8 times the 7, and you get 56. Now, count your zeros in the problem. 1, 2. Add the same number of zeros to your answer. 1, 2. And it's as simple as that. You do not set these up like a regular problem. Let's try one more. 40 times 600. 4 times 6 equals 24. Now we're going to count our zeros. 1, 2, 3, 3. Now we're going to make sure our answer has the same number of zeros. 1, 2, and 3. And that is our answer. Next we're going to look at decimal patterns. These are just as easy. We're going to multiply 52, 52.68 times 10. We're going to drop the original number down. Now we're going to count the number of zeros in our power of 10 number, which we're multiplying by, which will be right here. It'll be 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, one of those numbers. So we're going to count the zero. We have one. Next, we're going to move our decimal that many places to the right. So watch our decimal. We're going to move it one place to the right. And then we're going to rewrite the correct answer with the decimal in the new spot. 526.8. 526.8. Let's try one more. 6.321 times 100. Drop the original number. Now we're going to count the zeros in our power of 10 number, which in this case is 100. 1, 2. Now we're going to move this decimal, the same number of zeros we have in the problem. So we're going to move it two places to the right. 1 and 2. Now we're going to rewrite the answer with the decimal in the correct spot. These are decimal patterns. Now we're going to multiply a whole number times a whole number. 328 times 42. Notice they're going to be color coded so you can follow where the numbers belong. 2 times 8 is 16. Put down your 6 and carry your 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus your carry of 1 is 5. Now you're going to say the 2 times the 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Now we're going to sweep our carries. Now just put a line through it, and we're going to put down our mat, or our place value. This is going to hold the place value, because now we're going to multiply by the 10 spot. We're going to say 4 times 8 is 32. Put down your 2 and carry your 3. Now we're going to hit 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Put down your 1 and carry your 1. The last one we're going to say 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Now all we need to do is add. 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, 6 plus 1 is 7, drop your 3 and your 1, place your comma, and your answer is 13,776. Now we're going to multiply a whole number times a decimal, 284 times 2.4. Notice we lined up the numbers. Don't worry about the decimal. Line up the numbers. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply like normal. We're going to start with the 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Put down your 6. Carry your 1. Now we're going to do 4 times 8. 4 times 8 is 32. Plus 1 is 33. Put down your 3. Carry your 3. Now we're going to say 4 times 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 3 is 11. Sweep your carries. Put down your place marker because now we're going to multiply by the 10 spot. We're going to start with 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Put down your 6 and carry your 1. Now we're going to say 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Add them up. 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8. And 5 plus 1 is 6. 
Now, this is where it's different. We're going to count how many digits are behind the decimal in the first number. If there is no decimal, it's assumed that the decimal is in the back. So there are no digits behind the decimal in this number. Here, we have one digit behind the decimal. You add these up, and your answer must have one digit behind the decimal. So we need to make sure that this digit is behind the decimal in our answer. So we're going to put our decimal right there. And that's how you multiply a whole number times a decimal. Your answer is 681 and 6 tenths. The final one is multiplying a decimal times a decimal. Notice the decimals are not lined up. We lined up the numbers and did not worry about the decimals. We'll take care of those at the end. We're going to multiply by normal as if we're multiplying 184 times 26. Start with the 1 spot. 6 times 4 is 24. Put down your 4. Carry your 2. Now we're going to do the 6 and the 8. 6 times 8 is 48. Plus 2 is 50. Put down your 0. Carry your 5. 6 times 1 is 6. Plus 5 is 11. Sweep your carries. Put down your place marker. And now we're going to multiply by the 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Put down your 6. Carry your 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. Add them up. So far it's just like a regular multiplication. 4. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. And 3 plus 1 is 4. Now we're going to do just like we did before, but we have 2 to look at. There are 2 digits behind the decimal in this number. There is 1 digit behind the decimal in this number, so we're going to add them up. And our answer has to have three digits behind the decimal. So our decimal has to go here so that we have three digits behind the decimal. And that's where it goes. This concludes our lesson on multiplication.